So we're here at uh, Linaro Connect and uh, who are you? My name is Shwa Khan. I am a kernel maintainer, and Linux kernel maintainer. I maintain kernel self-test and then USB or IP driver and I kind of play in various areas of my interest. So what does it mean to be a kernel maintainer? Um, kernel maintainer, uh, what it means to be a kernel maintainer is that you are responsible for the content that is going to go into the kernel release. So it is, I find that it's an immense responsibility because we, we are the gatekeepers um, of what gets in and we want to make sure, we have the responsibility to make sure that um, the, the features that are going into the kernel are valuable, generic value and and so on and then also we are almost on the hook 24 7. We are we have to be responsive to the new developers we have to make sure at the same time be able to say no so it is a very challenging um, responsibility and it's not for everybody. So uh, how many kernel develop uh, maintainers are there <sighs> and uh, how do you split up the responsibilities among you? Um, we have subsystem specific maintainers. We, all, we also have sub maintainers. I really do not know the number off the top of my head. Probably we probably have um, more than 200, uh, 300 of us, and then um, there are um, six, seven, six to seven thousand developers, and sometimes it can be up to ten thousand all across the globe. So some subsystems maintain as a team x86 is an example of that and uh, but my subsystem I just maintain myself and then the driver I maintain I it's a USB IP driver so I actually send patches up to the main maintainer um, so that's kind of sub maintainer maintainer model works so USB IP driver you said yes but you were talking about test what do you call kernel, it? Kernel self-test is what I maintain. Is that USB yeah. IP or something no. else? No, kernel self-test is a subsystem that I maintain, and then USB or IP is another driver I maintain. So I maintain uh, two things, things at the same time. Right. And uh, so, uh, what is a self-test? Um, self-test is like um, a kernel um, test run that is part of the kernel source tree that gets run so it's like checking self running a test of the kernel from the for uh, um, developers write unit tests and uh, regression tests and then the de kernel developers will be running that mainly and then also it gets run during stable release cycles and then mainline release cycles that we make sure that when we put the bits, bits out um, the, some sanity checks run. I mean, sanity checks so pass. So, um, I guess there's a lot of testing going on in the kernel, right? Yes. Is it a big deal? Then everybody, every kernel developers need to use this tool. Kernel, uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, kernel de um, all kernel developers do use it because what happens is um, kernel developers focus in a kernel is large. So we have various subsystems. So if a, a small area in the memory management changed, you ne don't necessarily have to run um, the entire self-test. It would, it would be good to do that, but you probably want to run more targeted MM memory management tests that are under self-test. So, but during the release process though, we do want to run all of that, and that, that we do. We, we, have, we have a continuous integration model in the kernel. Uh, we, we, continue, we continue to releases come out um, once a week, and then as releases come out, we go and test them. It's like developers and users and testers, they all go test the new patches, that, new bits that come out. So. And uh, when I use my cloud computer, I always like to use a, a USB over IP to do like my webcam remotely and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Is that what it is? USB mm -hmm. over IP? USB over IP. So right. any kind of uh, plug in the hard drive and it just works over the IP like it's local? Um, yes. Um, what USB uh, over IP does is um, it will make the USB storage and USB um, other devices, IO devices as well, over 
um, IP to another client. And if you have a client sitting um, sub, uh, from a, a different area from the server, you can import devices that server is exporting. And then you can control the like, same thing. I mean, you can access it just like you would a local USB device, file system or a device. So, um, uh, you, your job is fun? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Every day is busy or too busy or not? Or can you have a holiday when you want or how does it work? Um, so, I do make sure that I am available during merge windows and then generally responsive to the patches. And it is busy. It keeps me very busy. And there are times um, that, that uh, uh, sometimes I end up working a weekend. Like for example, for example, this Sunday, because I needed to send a pull request out. I'm in and out, you know. I was traveling, and so it is a lot of fun, and and you know, it's a different mindset. Uh, I like it that uh, like it that uh, six, lots of people. I mean, six to seven thousand developers. Not all of them at the same time, but a large number of developers look at the work we do. And it is also nerve-wracking sometimes, right? Some something you send out, and you know the patch, no guarantee that that code will get in. But at the same time, it's being looked at by your peers, and it's very rewarding to be uh, to be working in this environment if you have the right mindset. That means you you must be one of the best in the world then, because you have to be able to have code that everybody say, yeah, that's great, or what. Uh, well, I mean, Does it your gets code have scrutinized. To be super clean? Yes. You, you, the way you, your code is super clean and uh, structured and everything, you, you can't be doing messy stuff, right? Right, right. We do look at yeah, look at the quality closely, and I can't say I'm. Uh, I I won't say I'm the best. Um, there are. We have. It's a talented group of individuals, and I'm I'm glad to be part of that. Uh, are you a lot involved with the so with the community here, the Linaro? Are they doing a lot of stuff with you? Right, Linaro um, a te a test uh, group is doing a lot of work um, in TK self test space, and then they are participate. Linaro test form um, is used for testing stable releases and as stable releases and uh, each release, even even mainline releases come out they immediately test them and then run self-tests and then send reports up and they're doing a lot of, um, some of the developers are doing a lot of um, improvements um, in, to the framework. Do they call it LPKF or is it where it's related? It's um, the, the, not the, a test form, the LTF form. is the what they call it. Test form is a you know, group of systems that they don't test on. And then they, they are continuously making improvements and suggestions for improvements and they keep an eye out for any breakages in tests and, and so on. So it has been, um, um, uh, I, I, am, um, I rely on them to, to find problems sometimes. So that's a community. Um, it's a part of the extended community that they help me out. But and this then, Linux kernel is for every architecture, right? Is uh, x86, ARM, everything, right? Right, there are, um, no, we, we support like to 15 architectures, yeah. yes. So, so that is part of the challenge too, so that you don't want to, when you um, make a change to the generic area, you don't want to break an architecture, um, any architecture, so that's part of the challenge, so. And uh, on your business card, it says you are with Samsung? Correct. So how does that work? The Samsung works a lot in open source, so they, somehow you got to do this? Right, so um, in Samsung we use Linux um, in, in a lot of our products chain. I am part of the Samsung's open source group. What I do with open source is my full-time job is doing open source work, open source project uh, work. And then what I do is I am uh, contributing back, we are contributing back from Samsung for, uh, because we want to, we are taking and we want to give as well. So um, that's part of the contribution. And then also um, look at, there are some features I do for Samsung. If Samsung wants a specific feature for the product, um, I'll uh, upstream that feature and then work with the community to make sure that it 
is useful to the community at large, not the, just Samsung specific. But does that mean you have kind of like staff that you can uh, delegate a bunch of work to, or do you have to do everything by yourself? Or how does it work? I am. I work by myself. We are all, we uh, we are individual contributors in our team, and each one handles their part of the um, project. For example, I maintain kernels um, self test, and then um, I help spread open source knowledge across Samsung. Some product teams want to know more about open source, uh, educate them internally about open source. And so yeah, I am I don't have any staff. I'm I'm by I I'm an independent individual and, contribu contributor. And we're here in Vancouver which uh, looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, and uh, you are based in I'm based um, I work out of my home office in Denver area. In um, Colorado. In Colorado. And so you can just work online. That's how it works with Linux right, developers, right? right? You just need an internet connection. Exactly. You can travel. You travel. For example, you can work at the airport. I can work at the airport. I can from, uh, work from the hotel. I can work from practically anywhere. I have a da data available. Do you yeah. travel a lot then, or not, I, you don't have to? I travel some, mainly for open source conferences, Linux conferences, and like this Linaro conferences. I'm I'm here uh, to network and then. Um, uh, that's the only time we have face-to-face -face, uh, kernel developers. So, so we come together at these conferences and discuss um, issues and you know discuss uh, designs, discuss features. So this is our uh, time to to work face-to-face. -face. And uh, for people that uh, I guess a lot of the guys or, or women in the, in the, in the narrow they have families and it's a great job to have when there's family, right? Because you can be flexible and. That's absolutely, absolutely. And you can work whenever you want, right? Right, absolutely flexible. Um, um, in my case, I have I work um, my schedule around dropping my children off and their events, and, and so it, it is it is great. And it, it comes with its challenges. It comes with its rewards. It's very rewarding professionally and flexible. And I get to meet a lot of people. Um, you have to like I'm meeting you now. So yeah. it's like it's fun to be. Fun to be doing yeah. that. It's very nice to meet you, mm -hmm. and but you have to force yourself to the kind of like uh, do the work, or there's so much that shows up in your mailbox, I guess, that you you kind of so automatically get a lot of work to have to be doing, right? So it, it, that is another thing. Once you are a maintainer, it's about being able to balance um, taking care of your maintainer responsibilities and also do the fun stuff that I want to do, uh, development work, you know, new development. So yeah, it is. I can't say I have to look for work. Uh, meaning, I have always something to do. There's a whole was always a whole bunch always of to do list for you. Correct. But it's okay. It's that's not, fun you can manage of, that's, it. The, that's the, the fun of it, want. right? Yeah, yeah, that's the fun of it. I enjoy that. Yeah, it's, it's nice to not have to worry about. Oh, hey, what am I doing next? I always know what I'll be doing.